So welcome to Challenge the Road. Let's go through our week with an EV. It's, um, yeah, interesting. I actually went to the garden centre. I didn't have cake. I had tea and scones and I lost charge. We're going to go through that later. First of all, let's go through today. Now I've got 47 miles. We've dropped my daughter at cricket, but I have to go to... I, don't know, I think it's tennis at midday and we have 46 miles now my home charger is still not working because I can't seem to do this transfer with pod point I can't get a new charger for I think a couple of weeks it's going on for ages isn't it so I am in the public charging network and you're probably thinking Richard why are you still doing this and yes I think the same but anyway I'm thinking where I'm going to go, I'm going to go to McDonald's and I haven't been there for a while because we had the fast charger there, I think it was 80 kilowatt, so I'm going to go there and have some breakfast because I'm starving and talk through how all this happened, but costs, we've got to go through that because it's getting very, very expensive. Now, Sunday, I woke up and went to petrol hedonism at Wembley and I think I had something like 120 miles of range and it was about 110 it was something like that I was 10 covered by 10 miles I thought brilliant no problem I'm gonna do it Richard you're not gonna run out and I went there and I said I had a really bad back and I've still got it now and after probably about six hours of walking around, seeing the cars. I thought, right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna head back, because my back's aching. I can't stay till like six o'clock. Um, let me just get out this junction, because it's very dangerous. This, this is where electric cars are brilliant pace. Um, went there, obviously had a long walk round, and I thought, I'm gonna go back, because my back's really bad, and I just wanna get home. And it's a Sunday. So I get in the car, and it says to me, there's traffic. Now, if I want to do the fastest route, the fastest route is too far for me because I haven't got enough range. So if I go the correct way with enough range, it's like 30 minutes longer. So I thought, damn it. I'm going to have to... So I thought what I'll do is I'll take the long way, which is actually... 20, 25 minutes longer um, so I can keep enough range. So I did that and then I thought, I'm still not going to make it. I'm going to be short. I thought what i do is I'll now stop at the motor. So now it's cost me 20, 25 minutes and I thought, well, the motorway network, there should be fast chargers, should be pretty easy. So I did. I stopped at Thurrock uh, Services went in there found a fast charger there was loads of them put it on charge and I'll tell you what it was so fast it was 150 I'll try and bring it up on the screen it's 150 kilowatt I went in I tried a new I can't remember what it was called now but I tried a new cake and a coffee and I come out and that was only like half an hour and it was fully charged fully charged so I was really pleased I thought that's great but that's taken me probably an hour, hour extra. But I was pleased because the charging network was really good. Um, and I know a lot of people have been saying it wasn't really good, but there was loads of chargers, it, no hassle, straight on, all working, fine. By Tuesday, now this is the other thing, the cost, didn't we? This was about 80 pound, oh, sorry, 80 pence a kilowatt, and it cost me about, I think, 72 pounds, something around there. Um, and then on Tuesday, I was running low again. So from Sunday, two o'clock, by Tuesday, I was low again. So I thought, right, okay, I'll go to the garden center again. I think I had a, I had a breakfast this time, I'm trying to remember now. I'm trying to cut back on cake. The only good thing is, at my new house I've bought, we have a sauna, which I'm gonna have to start using so I can be like a jockey this summer, but it's probably not gonna work. So cake and sauna cake and saw that's the only way I feel I can get around this cake problem so I went there and I got more charge again 
and I fully charged and I think I had about 246, 250 miles and I think that's the most I've ever had so I, I was pleased with that and now at the moment I'm on 44 but I have used some of the other cars I have been out in the V12 I have been out in the V8 obviously we've done the cars and coffee at Buell and I drove the Astons then so I've sort of left it there knowing I needed enough for this weekend let me just get round here it's a little Porsche you see that Porsche don't have that come on. Um, so I thought well I'm going to go out today and I need to get charged. Now, if I'd been at home and I had the home charger, I don't think I'd be having these problems. And I want to do that, I think. I don't know whether to keep this car longer or not because it has been... It's been a bit stressful, to tell the truth. But I know everyone loves the videos. People keep messaging me going, stick with that electric car, Richard. We love everything going wrong for you. What we do... I'm going to tell you a story now. You're not going to believe it. We're going to go to McDonald's, I'm going to put this on charge, and then I'll talk about what happened on Thursday. Because I was thought, I had about 180 miles, I went to the garden centre again, because I was getting some wildflower seed for this lake we're doing. I put some, some videos, pictures up of that. And I thought, I'm going to top up. I'm going to top up the car, and I'm going to have full charge again. Because for some reason, I like having a fully charged electric car. I like it just full. Um, and for me, like when I went away to Bournemouth, when it was, I, think I went down to about 170 miles, I went and filled up. Well, 170 miles in this is good. You know, it's only because obviously we had to travel from Bournemouth to the mother-in-law's, pick up the kid, go back. And I thought, my wife's then got enough fuel, otherwise you're going to have to come home and there's nothing there. And the other thing on that was, if you have an emergency, and you haven't got much charge at home, I feel it's a bit of a worry. Like if something happened to my dad, or if I just feel a little bit like I, I can't go anywhere. And I, I don't like that. I like being able to know I can just go. That doesn't to mean I can't not charge the car and find somewhere to charge. It just takes time. Like if I get fuel, I've done that video before, <coughs> I can get fuel in under five to six minutes. If there's no one in that petrol station, I can just go in, put some fuel in get whatever two three hundred miles go and pay come out and it takes five six minutes now if there was an emergency i've got to think well where's the charger point do it da, 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 scan it put it in i'm probably gonna have to wait i don't know 20 minutes to get a decent amount maybe a bit longer and i've got to sit in the car so it feels like long so anyway that's my rationale about having enough charge in this car and I feel like like today I want to have a full amount of power right that's enough of me rambling on I'm gonna go to McDonald's now we'll park up and we go through this really weird situation I had I've arrived the car is on charge but almost had the shock of my life it said card not accepted and I thought no don't do this to me I've got 43 miles I've got a tortoise on the screen, which I can see there. Tried it again, and it worked. Thank goodness. And it is running at 56 kilowatts. So, I'm trying to think how long that's going to take. Let's have a look. It's going to take a little while. But, let's get on to the main story. Now, what I thought was, I will pick up some wild flower seed, and I had about 100 and, I think I had 174 miles, if I remember exactly and i thought what i do pick up the wild flower seed um have a cup of tea and i'll charge the car full and then i wouldn't probably be having problems like this where i'm low today what happened was i went there and what's like happened today i went bang charge pay nothing thinking right i'm doing it the wrong way round because a lot of these chargers do it different ways. Some of them you use the card at the start and then you plug it in. Some of them you plug it in and then you put the, the card. So I thought, I've done it wrong. I'm looking at the sign. Right, okay. So like this one here, it says tap payment card, plug in. That's it. So you think easy. Go back. Put the charger back in. To tap the card. Nothing. God's sake. So I think... Right, okay, wait, keep patient, Richard, keep patient with this. 
wait. I'm thinking, nice, it was actually a nice day. If it had been raining, then I'd just be going crazy. Tap it again, nothing. I think, oh, you know what? Just, I can't be bothered anymore. So I thought, well, I'll leave the charger in because I went back and tried it the other way around. I thought maybe it's the charger, maybe it's anyway. So I left the charger in and I thought I'd go in and I had a lovely tea and scone instead of a cake. I thought this is great. Um, but I just couldn't be bothered to move my car because I thought, well, I've, I've come here to charge. I've got a nice parking space. Why am I going to move my car now if this now like isn't working? So I thought, oh, stuff it. I'm just going to leave it there. Went in, come back out took the charging plug out and I thought 167 there was a lot of heat in the car if you've charged an electric car before these fans which you probably won't hear today but the fans go funny in here you can hear a noise and it's like it's um, cooling probably cooling from all the charge from the batteries so I've lost seven miles and I'm just like so now it's costing me to go in there to have all this tea and cake and now it's taken seven miles. And I thought, I'm going stupid here. How can it... I'm now charging and now it's taking my charge back. It's costing me money to come here. So I thought, well, I'm going to hold back on doing the video because I thought it was something with me. I thought, am I, am I being stupid here? Did it say 174? Did it say 167? But it definitely said 174. So anyway, I researched this a bit more and I chatted with someone. And uh, they said, yeah, that's right. They've programmed a lot of these cars that if, potentially in the long term, if the grid had a problem with electricity, it will draw it back the other way. So I'm like, okay, I'm not being stupid then. It's not me being like, I've just lost seven miles because I left it plugging in. I said, no, Richard, that's how it's programmed to do. So then I'm thinking, so if I charge my car for a journey at night, potentially in the future, and the grid hasn't got enough power, it's going to take my mileage back. I'm thinking this just gets even better. <sighs> and, and this is like, I don't make this stuff up. This is just what's happening and what's happening in the world. So it's trying to think now, obviously this, this EV stuff is going to move faster. We are in a stage of early mobile phone it's like we are a car phone in mobile phone areas we're a car phone at the moment and it is going to get better um, but even like here now 58 kilowatts is probably not enough I think since I've been talking to you here we've gone up with 55 miles now so we've done 11 miles I'm still here I'm still hungry I'm gonna eat a lovely salad no I'm not um, but yeah, so that's my week. That's what happened. I'm still in a little bit of shock about this taking charge back. I thought if I paid for something, you know, it's mine, you know, but maybe it's not. So yeah, well, hope you enjoy these videos. And uh, yeah, I am enjoying doing the videos. I just don't enjoy being here now, 10 past nine, waiting. I've got to get my home charger. I'm sure when the home charger arrives and is working, I might be a little bit happier or we're going to have to move back to a hybrid. I feel, I said from the start, I think hybrid's the best way. I was right. I've been right all the way through. You know, I, well, years ago, a couple of, when I tried the Q4, I said, I don't think this is going to work. This is getting better, but I think also like in the winter, I don't want to be sitting out in the rain and crap. And I would have got soaked the other day. I was actually thinking at the same time, like this here, it's not under any cover. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go and um, waste some more time eating and having a coffee. And I'll see you all again soon. Yeah, and I hope you enjoyed these videos. You get a chance to share it. Really helps. I'm trying to get to 17,000 subscribers really close now. Yeah, and any help appreciated. See you again soon.